What is acellular dermal matrix? So the most common place that acellular dermal matrices or ADMs are used is in breast reconstruction. And the most common type of ADM or the most common brand of acellular dermal matrices is Alliderm. Um, other brands that are commonly used include Corteva and Dermacell and Flex HD. So Alliderm, Corteva, Dermacell, Flex HD, they're all different types of acellular dermal matrix. What that is, it, it is cadaver skin. So it is skin from an organ donor that has been processed to get rid of all the cells. So there's nothing living about it. There are no cells left behind. It is just the scaffold that's left behind. And we use that scaffold to help reconstruct your breasts. So that is why it's called an acellular dermal matrix. It is the dermal portion of the skin without cells. And it does a great job serving as a scaffold or a mesh, so to speak, to support the tissue expander or implant inside the mastectomy pocket. Because once the breast is removed, it is essentially a giant empty hole inside your breast, meaning all that's left is the skin and nothing else. So we need to reconstruct that space. And if we're doing it with an implant or tissue expander, we need that dermal matrix to help maintain position of the expander or implant. And if it's in a tissue expander, the dermal matrix will help uh, maintain position of the future implant once the expander is removed. So that is what an acellular dermal matrix is. If you hear people talking about ADMs, alliderms, it's all an acellular dermal matrix, which is a biologic device or a biologic implant that we use when we perform breast reconstruction. Over time, your body grows into this scaffold and sort of makes it your own. So think of it like the scaffolding of a house and your body just grows into that scaffold and it helps provide strength and support to that soft tissue. So we call it soft tissue reinforcement um, is essentially what the acellular dermal matrices do. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.